Excuse me, little dog. Alright, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean, over the top beautiful day and now evening here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. Probably the last spectacularly gorgeous spectacularly gorgeous <coughs> day of the fall of 2022. Uh, so, uh, the little dog and I have been out enjoying this gorgeous weather while we still can. And as the beautiful crescent moon sets down behind me, uh, you know, it is Saturday night. It is another exciting Saturday night here at Bugs in a Jar Farm sitting here my little dog. That would be Saturday night, November, is it 26, 2022? Somewhere around there. So, you know, Saturday night, I, you know, I start trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my doomsday sermon tomorrow as I'm sitting here. You know, it's every, every Saturday night, like, what am I going to do for my sermon tomorrow? Well, guys, I, I just want to tell you, I will never again be lacking a doomsday sermon. Uh, so I'm not going to do a sermon. I'm just trying to choose one, but I'm just letting you guys in on this little secret uh, that, that I have found. So, you know, I have been following this fellow named Umer Hack, who is, I mean, he's like the Larry Flint of Doomer porn. I mean, this guy... Umer Hack, uh, brother, I am nowhere in your league. Th this dude, Umer Hack, has established himself as the most prolific doomer I have ever encountered. Good Lord, this man. So anyway, you know, he's on this, uh, he's joined up with this outfit called Medium is where you can find uh, Umer's work, but what they started doing, Medium got tired of, you know, cheapskates like me, so they put in kind of a little bit of a paywall uh, recently, so I'm only allowed, to, I think, is it one a week or one per month where you get one freebie, uh, so I can only read one of Umer's, but the problem is I think that Umer Hack is now writing seven or eight Doomer manifestos every day just trying to keep up with Umer. Uh, I had to, I, I finally buckled and uh, joined Medium. But what I want to tell you guys, and, and it really is, this is the one Black Friday deal that I have taken advantage of, and I think tomorrow might be the last day, maybe through November 30th. If, if you go on the medium.com and get one year, you can get, it's normally $50 a year they're offering this weekend, 50% off. So for $25, you uh, get one year's worth. And as I say, I was mostly going in it for Umer Hack, a little bit for this chick, this Doomer chick named Jessica Wildfire. Sandy Shellis has had uh, Jessica. I, I'm kind of letting Sandy, uh, you know, the Doomer chicks have the Doomer chicks. So uh, I haven't really talked about Jessica. She's a little bit too hopium for she's still she is a doomer chick but you know she's an apocaloptimist uh, but at least the first half of her stuff is good uh, so anyway for Umer and Jessica I went ahead and paid the 25 bucks it's 50 cents 50 cents a week what is seven cents a day we're talking about here guys so even your old cheapskate and you can put it on PayPal I I absolutely love PayPal. It's just like PayPal, it's so out there. It's just like, uh, uh, it's for, why is it so much less painful to uh, spend money on PayPal? So you hit the $25 and you hit PayPal and you're in for a year. So anyway, I'm there. And uh, so I join up. 
And this is, so what they do is they'll send you a daily digest. And uh, so obviously it's heavy on Umer and Jessica. But uh, good Lord, this is my very first daily digest from Medium dot com and uh, I, I'm just gonna read now as I say a lot of these are Umer and Jessica but but I'm finding already finding these other writers that uh, that so anyway let's just go through this obviously starting with Umer your life feels like it is over because this is what civilizational collapse is depression, fascism, social collapse, the age of extinction is going to be one of history's most turbulent. Do you think so? And then we uh, check out Jessica Wildfire. We should be building homes to survive the climate apocalypse. Then here's this fellow named Martin Edick. E-D-I-C. I've already joined him. His uh, essay, Living in the Unimaginable Reality. We are not dealing with it. Then here's this fellow. Oh, this is a woman, actually. I guess that is a Duber chick. Aaron McQuilkin. Aaron McQuilkin. Yeah, you should be worried right now. Yes. We are moving toward an inhospitable world or toward doom. So I checked in with uh, this doomer chick, Erin McKillican, and she's totally on the side of doom, that we're doomed. And I look at her biography, and Erin is a proud new mom. A proud new mom. Yes. Anyway. Here is a fellow, never heard of him. This is Alan Tropolinois. People everywhere are running out of money. Here is what happens next. Okay, I, I am I, I could care less about the cryptocurrency stuff, but if you're into that, here is a fellow named Stephen Moore, the crypto winter is about to become a crypto ice age as another big player collapses. Trust is being eroded. And uh, guys, I am a full cheerleader of the collapse of every cryptocurrency on the planet. Uh, I hope every single clueless moron who has ever put their money into cryptocurrency loses every penny of it like I did with my physical silver. I anyway, not getting off on a crypto thing. Anybody who loses money in the crypto market deserves everything they had going, uh, they had coming from the day they started. But anyway, enough of that. Here is a fellow named Mike Meyer. Uh, that I have just joined. Maybe I will uh, make this my doomsday sermon tomorrow. The nation states of denial, the new international order. Yep, yep, yep. And, okay. Then, of course, we have a lot more Umer. We are not going to make it to 2050. The age of extinction is dawning by the day, and we are doing too little, too late to stop it. Yepper, so I can read every word of Doomer porn that Umer Hack has ever written. Just, just uh, Umer Hack. Uh, good Lord, to read his entire library. Here is a fellow named Will Lockett. Never heard of this fellow. Will Lockett, the secret, the secret oil companies 
don't want you to know. We have all been told a law. Been, we have all been told a lie, but a new study has uncovered the truth. Uh, okay, here's a fellow named uh, Jared Brock, and I guess the name of his blog on Medium is Surviving Tomorrow. Title of this one was You Will Own Nothing by 2050, and here is exactly how it will happen. Yes, talking about corporate enslavement of the masses. So I thought I was going to make that one my doomsday sermon, so I went over and read this thing by Jared Brock and a couple of more, and I've got to say, guys, Jared Brock is no Umer hack. Uh, he is a little bit of a uh, lefty. Now you are going, you know, the thing about medium, it looks like pretty much anybody can write for medium.com. Matter of fact, now that I've joined up, one thing, if you join medium, apparently you can start writing for medium. So they're inviting me to start a, uh, a column. They want me, they're uh, telling me to tell my story, tell my story. So who knows? Maybe uh, I will uh, tell my story. I'm Andy the Gardener, if you are listening to this, uh, Andy, I'll make you a deal. You just sit here and write a, give me a thousand words, just anything you want to talk about, brother. Give me a 1,000 word essay. I will clean up your horrendous grammar, punctuation, paragraph stuff. And Andy the Gardener, I will make you famous. So I think Andy the Gardener needs a new blog on medium.com. Not sure Andy the Gardener can be defined as medium. But Andy, I'm serious. If you, if you want to be a, a new medium star, just each week send me a 1,000 word email at collapsechronicles at gmail.com uh, and we will publish it on medium.com. You know, so this, you will own nothing. Uh, you know, talking about, uh, oh, I'm having a, uh, a, a Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab, I was talking to my friend Ariel last night and we got to laughing about how it would be a hoot to interview Klaus Schwab and the Dalai Lama. Okay, have the exact same questions uh, for Klaus Schwab and the Dalai Lama and do like a split screen and listen to uh, <laughs> how Klaus Schwab would answer a question and compare it to uh, how the Dalai Lama would. You will own nothing and you will be happy. Uh, is that Klaus Schwab or is that, uh, is that uh, the Dalai Lama? Anyway, okay. Here is, I guess it's a dude. Marjan Krebel, the storm is coming and we are headed right into it. A parable on insanity of our times. Uh, okay, that might be a good one. Uh, all right, back to Umer. Why the economy of the 2020s is going to be a big squeeze. The economy is about to be hit by a series of hammer blows and a lot of people are going to be ruined. Okay, here's one by a fellow named Gary Janos. You know, here's, here's another contender for the Doomsday Sermon. Guys, this is one day's Daily Digest, and I guess every day I get one of these. Uh, okay. 
Gary Janos, we could have saved our world, but the solution was too expensive. We had the answers, we just could not make a profit from them. Yes, and so the so what he has for his uh, graphic is a you know that famous picture of Earth from the Apollo uh, moon landing with a lost our lease banner over planet Earth. Okay, haven't we already heard from Will Lockett? Okay, here's another one from Will Lockett. Germany's nuclear nightmare. The reality of nuclear power is becoming evident, and it is a lesson to the rest of us. There you go. Um, then they get a little more esoteric. Let's fact check that, that Taylor Swift private jet usage story. Uh, anyway, guys, this goes on, and uh, so you can go in and kind of tweak, you know, who you, and then, of course, you, you pull up one article uh, by, by Umer Hack, and they're saying, if you enjoyed this, uh, here's ten more, and you can go down. I, I, I'm, I'm already kind of thinking, what have I done? But uh, I assure you, uh, I will never again uh, be hard-pressed to find <laughs> a doomsday sermon. So uh, pretty much every Sunday, my guess for the next year is we will be hearing a, uh, <laughs> an essay from uh, some doomer on... <clears throat> on a medium.com I will try to make we'll we'll make uh Umer hack what are we going to make him the fourth Sunday of each month we're going to do one Umer hack and uh three other uh but anyway come along for the ride but I really do advise you if you want to if you're sick and tired of how the mainstream media is peddling doom and gloom. Uh, 25 bucks and sounds like you'll hear some uh, food for thought. Now I'm quite sure that like you know uh, like I noticed they have a, uh, a whole section on technology. I can assure you that medium.com is absolutely full of uh, techno utopians. Plenty of people cheering on all of the bright green lies. I am quite sure there is no shortage of clueless morons uh, infesting medium.com. But again, compared to the mainstream media, uh, hallelujah. <clears throat> Anyway, I have done my commercial, and uh, I will let you know if I decide to uh, take up the pen on medium.com. Anyway, I think I'm going to go make some pot stickers. Bye, guys.